And it's a very good morning to everybody out there and welcome to Sorrento Bowling Club for the final day of the Australian Size Championships of 2023. I've been your host for the series, I'm Leader Lord Such and this morning I'm joined by Regionals Bowls Manager here in Perth, Troy Canane. Good morning, Troy. G'day Lee, how are you mate? Mate, I am very well mate. Well, we've got a couple of the heavyweights this morning, uh, New South Wales taking on Queensland and we've probably got the two most informed players of the country at the moment, uh, Aaron Sherisrink taking on Lee Schrainer. Yeah, and... Uh when they wrote the script at the beginning and put this fixture on for the last game of the the tournament, uh, turns out whoever wins this one got the Ali Shield. Exactly right. Uh, yep, that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at. So the, the winner of this game will take it home. Queensland looking to go back to back. Uh, in the girls, uh, we've actually got a three horse race for the girls. Uh, if Queensland win, uh, they'll win the trophy. Um, but if Victoria win and New South Wales girls win, then uh, Victoria will take the trophy. And if Tasmania beat the Victorians and New South Wales win, they can win the trophy. So it's quite interesting for the girls. And we'll be keeping an eye on those scores as the game progresses. Yeah, well, the Victorian girls, I believe it's been about 20 years since uh, the Victoria girls have won it. Yeah, well, they've been impressive so far, haven't they? No, they've played very well. So we're just getting away, first end, coming back to the clubhouse, and we've really uh, saved the windiest day, Troy, until last. Yeah, we have. We've got probably gusting easterly winds at the moment. Um, probably, what, 30 knot winds gusting to, but we should see that calm down probably by about 10 o'clock-ish, I'd say, and then it'll become perfect day for bowls. No, we've had. Uh, we've been pretty lucky here at Serena. They've done a wonderful job. The green keepers, all the staff, volunteers, to make this event happen. It's been a major success. If you see Daniel Hill on the forehand, just needed a slight correction. Looks like he's done it pretty well. Yeah, fish in a good spot. So how have you enjoyed your time back in the commentary booth? Uh, it's, it's been good. I've been a little bit rusty. I had to uh, I didn't talk to anyone for three days leading up to it just to get the voice box ready. <laughs> But uh, no, it's good. It's been great to um, catch up with a lot of old friends and see some see some old faces and met some new ones and yep. and see some great bowls in the process. No, it's been terrific. Yeah, congratulations to the Sereno Bowling Club Green staff. The um, Greens have come up good, particularly on the TV on the live stream. Oh, they They're certainly have running beautifully. Yes, they certainly have. And uh, also some news overnight, uh, one of the Queensland players, Barry Lester, who's uh, announced his retirement. From international duties. From yep. international duties, what a career he's had, so congratulations Barry. Yep. yep big two decade career. So I think even uh, might take the bowlers, Troy, a little while, as good as they are with these conditions, they're not the easiest. Yeah, look, we're gonna get a couple varying uh, widths and lengths just while this wind's gusting pretty hard to pick it at times so should improve though as that wind dies down Sean Ingham played very well last time we had him on our live stream game this one just needs to run a bit yeah, it's just going off a bit short Carl Healy, as we mentioned before, what a wonderful couple of months, well 12, 18 months really, but back to back World Championships. Yeah, yeah he's been playing very well. Try and draw as close as you can on the forehand. He's looking at it. And he's played it pretty well. Just needs to run a fraction. Pretty good effort. Oh, Wayne Turley, one of the all-time greats. In the top three or four players of all time to play for New South Wales. Former gold medalist in the Commonwealth Games himself. Bowls management tweet heads. We 
Okay, so let's see car run for a bit of cover here. Holding a couple of shots. Yep, and you're right, it's heading to the back. Yep, going to the tee beautifully. Okay, so Tells needs a bit of a correction on his first, his line was good. It looks that better weight. It's pretty good, I think. Not too far away. No, it's just it's gonna, not quite gonna hang on. Gonna get under. Good battle today between the two skips. I, uh, yes, was just thinking the same. Uh, talk about a man in form. I think Lee Schroen has just won about just about everything yeah, going around well, in his uh, home state there. So uh, yeah, it'd be the two in form singles players for sure. Lee Schroen capturing the national championship champion singles for a fourth time. Also won that Dubbo fours. Yeah, we're back Recently. to back. Yep. Yeah, with a young, quite a young side. Yes, so it was a pretty good effort. Yeah, Sheriff, well, five times Australian Open singles winner. With some effort. No forehand, forehand couple down. It's recently switching back to the arrow bolt. Didn't like that one. No. So our neighbouring rigs, we have Aaron Wilson taking on Sean Baker. And Nathan Rice taking on Ben Twist. on that last one probably needs a couple of metres two and a half metres to yeah, I think they play more into the wind coming this way too Troy so probably will be a bit more of a push it's going to drop out too light yeah he had the shot there for a moment I think if it stayed up it would have been shot so two to the Blues. Very, very young, experienced side here in New South Wales. I'm not sure who the oldest player would be, actually, for the Blues. Very young side. Very young, might, yeah. be, might be Fergo, actually. Uh, Fergo Australia. Daniel Hill, the Bowls manager from Charlestown Bowling Club. Leading off, we've got a very long lane. Just about ditch to ditch. So uh, the Blues have jumped out to a quick start on all rinks. Yeah, 8 nil. 8 nil after the first end. Well, actually a bit strange to see, uh, Troy. Most of the games that I've streamed, uh, both leads have actually gone opposite sides of the rink. I uh, don't normally see that too often, but both players choosing to go the wider hand. Yeah, which you do sometimes see, particularly over here in WA, when that wind's blowing like it is. It can be a, a bit easy to pick. This uh, traditionally out here at Sorrento, the, the narrow side when the wind is blowing can be difficult at times to, to pick. So, not surprising that they're testing out the wide hand early. Yeah, that one didn't really come back with the breeze at all. So, in the girls, we've got Natasha Van Eldick playing Chloe Stewart, Kelsey Cottrell, and Ellen Ryan. And Lindsay Clark 
and Dawn Heyman. So good matches all around. Unfortunately for my R angle, Victoria and uh, Tasmania are on the furthest green from us, so yeah, we won't, won't be able to give you score updates on that, but you can find them via the bowls link. Uh, I think Aaron Delaport, courtesy of Bowls Australia, will be giving us some score updates as the game progresses, so we will be able to actually feed some scores through, hopefully. Peter Taylor's drawing a cracker there. Sean on a very good line. So this ditch, Troy no muck it around. Yeah, it's certainly gonna test him out. Tails looks pretty close again here, I think. Two really good bowls. Yeah, two great shots. Two great bowls to start. To see a bit of weight here, I think, from Shawningham. Yep. Yeah, let's have a look at it. I don't think he's a mile away either. You know, he's got them both. New South Wales are going for four in a row actually in the girls. Two thousand and four was the last time Victoria went out, so it'd be a huge effort if they can uh, win this one. I can't see one of the rinks over there, but looks like on two of the rinks Queensland have opened the account with the first end and well, Carl Healy lucky there, and he just dropped in. So, although it's, there's plenty of room, it's going to be a tough draw. Can you just see that first board there? It's a pretty good shot here from Turles. Well, that's a very good shot. Yeah, hats off. Oh, Carly, and he just dropped in. <laughs> so Queensland, look, holding three at the moment. Yeah. With tells with the bowl to come. Well, they've got a real close one now, so... What am I saying? Even just getting to the tee's good enough. Should have enough weight to get there. Yeah, well, at the moment it's counting. Yep. It's four. Plenty of room there for Lee to at least get the second shot, though. Eight of the last nine New South Wales have won in the ladies. That's some record. That's uh, pretty <laughs> impressive, isn't it? That is. So, Shrena, it's a fair bit of room, but... That's also quite a young squad. A the very young um, side, the New South Wales girls team. The New yes. South Wales and the Victorian girls squads both um, got a fair bit of youth. Good to see. Well, at least Shirena, what's he done here? It's a cracking effort. Oh, that's a very good. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, it's gone it's in. It's just fallen in. Oh, wow, must be downhill going down that way. I thought it was going to stop for sure. I think the wind just gusted that into the uh, yeah, ditch wait. there. Well, oh, Mark. This is all he has to do at the moment. Yeah, that's enough. 
enough to count for five, so... Well... Unfortunately... At least got about a metre and a half, two metres to to get the second shot, so there's a... He doesn't, he doesn't like, like it. it. Wow, so... Sheriff with one to come, currently holding five. Very surprised, such if this one doesn't count. Well, uh, yes. And we've done it. Put the curse on yeah, him. Yeah, we've done it. <laughs> yep, certainly have. <laughs> yes, sometimes they well, they're even they never give me those shots because I know they're the ones you should draw. But obviously, with these conditions. So uh, the aggregate board is 8-7 to New South Wales. And in the girls, it's 6-0 to Queensland. <laughs> we have every chance of blowing away here in the commentary box, Troy. <laughs> We're not safe. <laughs> Beautiful quiff going everywhere. Well, at least you've got hair to actually get flying <laughs> around. Uh, Only just. I'm right in that regard. He's pulling up a metre or so short there, Nick, with his first one. Well, Daniel's going to go try and get around that. He's not having a, a bar of the other hand, so try and get around this. Pulling up the odd four or five feet short there as well. So other games around. South Australia taking on Northern Territory. And Western Australia and ACT. Or the last round. The sides championships for 2023. Awesome. Be back here again, uh, 2026. Yes, three years time. So, look forward to that. So, Nugget, whopping bowl on the last end. Set things up for the team. I think you're right, Lee. I think they they are pushing up into a bit of a bit of a breeze yeah. here, which is just having cause to drop a couple short. Pretty good shot here from Tails. Yeah, great shot. Been around a long time. It's hard. Sean's got very good weight, just needs to hang on. Sits up against that bowl. Just going to fall the ass fell out. Come on, mate. Well, how much sweep will he get here? It's not coming now. Outside the camp. Tells. I don't know if it's quite going to get there. A bit hard to tell from our angles who's actually holding shot there, uh, Suchi, at the moment. Between Nick and Tails as yeah. well. Maybe failed favour the, uh, the 
jack high one but it's a bit deceiving on our angle Drop out of that as well. Yep. Let me have a look at that here, so. Okay, so back here, gonna try and look for this bolt. Forehand. Not sure if he's got the run on this. Nope. Looks like Lee's going to have a look at that bowl as well. Pinched a little bit too much there. Yeah, it's not the easiest way, just those swinger shots, especially when the wind's like this. Better wait here from Omar. It's on a good track too. Is he around that bowl? Yes, he is. He's in. He's drawn it. Great shot. Great shot from Sheriff. Should see more weight now. Well, there is that front bow on the line, so it might stop you from going flat out. But yeah. That's another two to Queensland. South Wales currently leading 12-9 on the big board. Not sure whether uh, that score's been updated for that last two that was picked up by Sheriff's Rink. No, I don't think... Uh, I can't is quite see the far ring disc goes in the way, but... So... Yeah, I think it is right, actually. So, the Queenslanders are throwing ditch to ditch right back at them. Ben Twist currently leading 5-0 against Nathan Rice. And Aaron Wilson's rink is leading 5-2 against Sean Baker. And Aaron Sheriff's, of course, leading 7-2 against Shrana. 9-4 to Queensland, the girls. See, look how wide they've got to go. I think he's going to have a bit too much run on, though. I think that's going to, the way it's, it's going to go to the gone fishing. Can 
Avenue looks to be on a fairly good track, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to stop yeah, either. Yeah, I think it might be getting to the ditch as well. Looks like they go a bit quicker here, so I think, yeah, Lee's already picked it up, so... Shows how difficult this actually is, even at the highest level. Yeah, well, from this end, once once the bowl starts turning in that last sort of four or five metres, you've basically got the wind right behind yeah. the bowl, so... Well, this is a better one. Better one from Nick. It's going to drop that Ooh. four or five feet short. Six, six feet. Daniel just trying to correct on that weight. The track was pretty good. Looks like his track's not too bad again. Yeah, I think this his weight's better too. This one's better. Oh, just pulling up. It'll be a metre short, but there'll be a lot outside that. Right, Sean's got the other side of the green. Oh, that's going to go too, I think, yep. So we've got more bars in the ditch than we do on the green. Peter Taylor sort of found the range going this way. Let's see if he uh, continues with that form going in this direction. Looks to be with pretty good, pretty good track again. Just crashed into the front there. Wouldn't be too far away. Still plenty of bowls to come, Troy, out of the national championships after this. Yeah, and um, Journal at Bowling Club. Of course, you'll be you'll be playing tomorrow. Yes, yeah, snuck into the triples. Uh, uh, luckily, I don't fee. I uh, don't appear on the live stream, <laughs> which is uh, good news for everyone. But I think if we make the final, we do though. Great bowl there yeah. by, by Peter Taylor. Wonderful correction. So he's, actually, he's actually been drawing quite well no, so far, has. hasn't he? Yeah, and probably, has. the, probably the pick of the front end at the moment, Tails. Tails are just a bit under with this one. Mm. Yeah, you know straight away, don't you? Mm. Triples, fours, pairs and singles will be the four days coverage. And of course we'll be out at Joondalup Bowling Club. Joondalup. I'm guessing you haven't been out there for a roll-up, have you? No, <laughs> uh, I haven't. <laughs> no. Uh, you get two wins before it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. That's what the roll-up's for. Well, I was going to go out this day. afternoon, but it uh, might just be a little bit too hot and windy. Uh, yeah. I think you might be better served staying here, yeah. Fatsy. Catching up with some of your mates after the game. Yeah. Well, Carlos just needs to run a bit. Probably be good enough for two. A bit more look at this one. It's got a little bit on it, so he might need to get back down to the jack. He's going to get the hole. Oh, he just got through the hole. Good enough for a second shot, though. South Wales. 
as we're our tent's just about to yeah. <laughs> get airborne, I think. Suchy. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit scared of my life. <laughs> Might not make the jingle up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, one more gust and I <laughs> think that one's going. <laughs> Might have to ask uh, Omar to catch it for <laughs> us. <laughs> done by his weight, it's a perfect track to get back to the back Queensland bowl there, just a metre over. No, I don't know if he'll quite get down with his weight. Not sure, no. So yeah. Let me try and draw this. Well, he was pretty good with his last one. He was just really a metre over. Otherwise, it would have got down to that back Queensland bowl. So I think he'll be doing, trying to do a similar thing. Might be a fraction wide this time. Well, they've got the, got the map back New South Wales. So 7-3. Four ends. So the yeah. dude has got the map right back. Yeah, Lee's going to keep it at a fairly oh, just long this length. Yeah, He's just sticking with it. Yeah, sticking with that. That's probably a couple of metres short. On the rink next door, interestingly, um, Aaron Wilson and. Um, Bakes, looks like they've, they've both got the opposite tactic. They're almost going, uh, they were going minimum length there for a while. They've stretched it out, Queensland, since getting the mat. Still that yeah, great start from Daniel. 23 metre length. Good shot there. Update on the ladies game. Queensland 11-5 uh, in front now. Yes, Queensland girls just need to win. Correction there by Nick. Just, just gone through, but good, good position. Very good effort from Tails, just running through. to Nick's bowl, one to Queensland. They wouldn't have to chase too much here, Tails. 
Just looking to. Uh, he looks like he's played with an extra metre or two. Just looking to. Just a fraction under. Let's run to the back. Oh, I'm just saying. Good to pass to Jack. See what New South Wales are trying to do. So. Well, it's going to look inviting yeah, now from the map is. for uh, Carl Ely. We've seen a similar shot to one Peter Taylor just played a metre or two on. Um, bigger than that. Yep. Well, I think that last, last bottle of Sean's makes his mind up. It's wide. Okay, so run to the back. That's the call. Overcooked this, so I don't know if this is going to stay up. Mm -hmm. It's just gone. Yeah, yeah just gone. Well, Carl looks like he's going. Yep. We're going to the big whack. Here we go. Yeah, nice. yeah. Close this time. Better track this one. Yep, it's yeah. a dead end. It's the first dead end. Start again. Yep. I think it's going to just about get right to the tee here. We're just short of it. So a couple of metres longer than last time. From a Newcastle singles winner. Get in zone two. Some work done to our ten here so we don't blow off. <laughs> yeah, Nick just pulling up a good four or five feet short again there with his first. This one looks to have better weight. Yeah, just Daniel. needs to hang on. Do enough. So good shot there from Daniel. Pretty good. So Nick looking for a good meter. It's not going to get down from out there. Good track here. Well played. Great shot. One. 
Yep, they're not going to be easy to beat. Pretty much all players have swapped over to that wide hand now. Such yeah. It's just a lot kinder with this wind the way it's blowing at the moment. That's a great effort from Sean. If it starts sweeping in sideways, he might nearly draw it, but it'll be good enough for second. Second shot, I'd say. Tails on a pretty good track yeah, again. Good again. Oh, there's two rippers. Yeah, the wind's not worrying him too much. Two to Peter Taylor. He'll be drawing the best at the moment. I see weight from Nugget. It's going to happen. Well, he's cleared out all the front stuff anyway, so... Yeah, Wales have got the back of the rink covered. Daniel Hill's got a bowl there sitting right on the ditch yes. behind the rink marker. I'm not sure that the jack's going to kill if the <laughs> wizard. Brett Wilkie, they're calling him Pops. <laughs> oh, great shot from Carl. Oh, Queensland, they're not going to muck around with this. It's Hills, shape it up. Go for a forehand wallop. Well, one of them out. One of them out, he's left Sean's bowl there. Those main flag poles over there, stretch are going to hang on. <laughs> really blowing. Got a bit of bend in them. <laughs> well. well, those two front bowls can go clean without the jack. Look on the WA. Moving. <laughs> Tell's going again here, is he? No, he's no, just trying he's to draw uh, it. going back to the draw. Well, I suppose they've only got one bowl. Oh, okay. I suppose Zoe's uh, going to be tough after a full, full blutter. hit on the next rink. So 56 for the Queensland girls over New South Wales at the moment. Uh, the damage there coming from the middle rink. Which I think it's Kelsey, Kelsey Cottrell's rink. Oh, well, oh that's not going to make the drive any easier. Stretch, so... Omar's looking where well, he's going to go through this gap on the backhand. Oh, he's got close. Him oh, he's got him. Yeah. Wow. What a shot. Great shot from Aaron Sheriff there. Oh, it's plucked him out beautifully. Oh, we must have let go this bowl. Nice. Yeah, he's looking at it. Gonna tell it wait. Yeah, very yeah, difficult shots to play is. when the wind's blowing like Especially that. Over here, yes. 
probably, you know, it's really just drive or draw, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. You know? Yeah, try and, try and take the bias out of it. So, Omar back on the draw here, looking to add. Just going to pull up short, I think. Uh, well, he'll be forgiven after his first yeah. bowl. Well, it was a great first bowl to take those two out clean. Another one to Queensland. So, the score's gone to... Queensland have got their nose in front again, 14-13. And the women, Queensland doing it well at the moment, 15-6. to six. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, Kelsey Cottrell's rink up. 9-0. I think Kelsey's going to change that score too, so there might be an update. Um, got the umpire measure in there. Uh, two, I think it looks like, looks like line two. New South Wales look like they're on the board, are they? 9-2, up to 5. <clears throat> Pretty good start here by Nick Cale. Right onto the jack there. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Stretch both of them going, sticking with the disc ditch. Good reply by Daniel Hill. Oh, that's a great shot. Great wow. shot. You're on a pretty good track again here, Nick. Tell you what, it wants to get back down to that jack. Just going to drop under, but... Yeah, he's just got a bit of sideways turn there, but yeah. two very good bowls. Very handy. Oh, Daniel Riffer with his first. Not going to be too bad as well. Oh, that's great bowls from the leads. Oh, Daniel Hill, two shots. He's very happy with that. Be looking to a little bit of jack movement here is fine for Queensland. Yep, yeah, got things to sit as well. It's just not, I haven't got the run with that one. Played it well, Peter Taylor. It's going to yep. get in behind Daniel Hill's bowl there. Yep, yep. right home. Good shot. He's had no problem with the uh, line no, of length so far. Um, he's uh, found it the best at the moment. He's playing very well. You see Shawningham just be looking to add another metre onto that last one. Just going to hang out there though this time. Good spot though. Handy. Use that one. Tell you what, he's played it pretty well again. Right on top of it, I think, almost. I think we're going to see some weight from Tells here, Stretch. I think you're right. So it's going to be forehand. I'm going to get the jack right through. Oh, he's got the wing one out of the way. Should be just can draw to that, looking to turn that bowl down perhaps. Yeah, maybe try and change it up a bit. Or is he... Oh, mate. Nope. 
Have a look at it. Well, that's going to be pretty good. Yeah, that's a that's that's handy. So three shots. Tills will be looking again. I'd say. Yeah. Got a couple out. Just the one down now. Good shot from Tills. It's an opportunity here for Carl though. Any touch touch of the jack. New South Wales bowls are all catching there. It's a bit, a bit, a bit wide. I mean, what's at the bowl? Mm. That's what he was doing, he was looking to sit that. For Emma. Just gonna try and draw it off. Well, his weight was very good for it. Sitting weight too, wasn't he? Hmm. They should have got a couple of bowls there if he trailed it. It's going to drop under as well. Mm. I'm just wondering whether you know Lee's better off. Just draw into the jack and the touch of the jack's a bonus. Well, it's a bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than trying to play that metre or toast sitting weight, which is a pretty hard shot to play with the way this wind's blowing. Draw to the jack. He's looked to do that too. He's weight. He's going to be close. Pretty good. He's done it. Yeah, good ball. Great shot for the trainer. Great shot. Two, two to New South. So eight shots to five. Just past the quarter. The quarter mark. Queensland, 19-15 in front. We're pretty confident here we're going to ditch the ditch stretch. The New South Wales girls come coming back, 15-11. Reasonable here too from Nick. We're starting to come back now. Then he's looking quite reasonable again. He's right on, right on it. So 
Got to be a mile away. Here you are, the Nick. This needs to run. No, that's four very good bars from Leeds. Yep, certainly done their job. Tails can draw confidently to that. Get through there, touch the jack. Lovely track again, Tails, just dropping a metre short or so. from Nugget. Well it wouldn't uh, it's only the smallest of fractions that it Yeah. Yep. Good insurance bolt. So Nugget a perfect weight with his first. Tell you what, he's close here, I reckon, such Yeah, I don't think he's too far away. He's got the jack full, he has. Great shot. Very happy team, high fives all around. Well, plenty of chances here for Carl. Yeah. I think Lee was going to call him down on that backhand, which, but we've seen so far, particularly coming this way, that it's been very tricky to pick the line yeah. when you're playing that sort of metre or two metres of weight. So well, the wind has calmed down a touch, <laughs> thankfully. Well, there's more gaffer tape holding our tent <laughs> <laughs> yeah. together. Well, he's got uh, a connection. I actually think he got shot out of it. I think he might have. No tails. It's going to get down. Yeah, lovely weight. Yeah, so full draw is the call, so just for our bowlers that's not familiar with that term, it's just making sure you, you reach. So we see the bars there, they're really going straight that last few metres. See the, you can see the wind holding <laughs> that one out smashed. as he copped a big yeah, gust. Look at that, yeah, dead straight. That's going to change our own shot, I think. Now, don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see an edge of that bow stretch through the hole. I'm not, a little bit hard to see yeah. from our angle, but no, he's stick, 
sticking on that back hand side probably looking to come off the edge of those tails as bowl sitting a meter out just have good weight for that it's just a fraction wide Got it. Oh. What a shot. Wow. I think he might follow him down here. Oh. You know he's going to go big. Yeah, he's asking the question if they can both go, so maybe he can get through that gap. Turn to the Blues. Making a bit of a charge. 8-7 now. Yeah, Carlos very happy. In his palms. So Queensland leading 22-17. And the men and the women, it's tightened right up. Suchi, New South Wales are... Yeah, within two. Within two, 15-13 to Queensland. It shows how uh, specialist lead stretch, how hard it is, how important that jack roll is, and obviously with these conditions we've got two leads that can roll ditch to ditch quite consistently. So important to good teams, good leads. And uh, you're really starting to find their range now yeah, too, aren't they? Getting your bowl there is one thing. Yeah, to, Jack and Bowl combo. Coming to terms with the with the wind and the, and the green. They're both around it pretty much now, which is good. Yeah. Another good opener by Nick there. Just three or four feet behind. Good bowls there by Daniel. Have yeah, anything uh, inside a meter? Be very handy. Does not really need to change too much, Nick? This one looks to be running. Yeah, I think he's going to lose this. Wants to hold down. Going to get down to that windy bit. He just won't stay on, but yeah, he's gone. Not, not quite. Bring our forehand around the clock, Pete, doesn't he? So. Yeah, well he's uh, one of the few players that's actually worked out that narrow side and bowled another yeah. perfectly weighted bowl. Yeah. Looks to be chucking pretty good as well. Just going to run through. Played it well again. Yep. That is his job. If you catch in there, New South Wales. Sean wasn't on a bad track last time, he was just looking to correct on his weight. Looks to be looks to have done that, just needs to run a bit. He doesn't need much more. 
second shot. Maybe. Starting to heat up too, Suchi. Yes, we're uh, forecast for a very warm afternoon. Maybe high 30s. Calms down a bit the next few days. Here's Aaron Wilson's just killed it in the uh, rink next door. 10-5 to Queensland in that game. from Carl. Yeah, Very good, good shot. So I think it's still three to New South Wales. Yeah. I must say then. So, well, really Andy's been needs to be nugget by, by a bowl or two. Again here, it's going to be handy over there. What's going to happen here? This nest something needs to crash on something. Yeah, has that'll cut through yeah. out. In the ladies game, New South Wales have actually taken the lead now off yes. Queensland. So 18 15. Yes. 18 ends played. Pretty well, yeah, Lee. Start going sideways. Falls in. Fairly would have been close. Not much time to draw a shot. It's going to sit that and falls back. Oh, close. that his, his bowl was third shot. If he sits on his own, he'd probably count. I'm taking the weight off there. than maybe well tells thought it was only one so they're pretty good eye tells 
That's the one. Yep. So it draws up the rink. Eight all on eight. Yeah, Queensland holding a two shot advantage at the moment. 22 20, 21 ends played. Received any updates on the other games being played at the moment? So, Burger Staff and Daniel. This is our shortest end of the game here. Stretch, the Jacks are quite a fair bit up. Still quite long in these, it's quite deceiving because these are 40 metre yeah, they're greens. So, so we're still, still looking at that good 25, 26 metre length end. Side. Then he's got a couple of good balls in the head there. Bits of slide off that, but just a little bit short. Four feet. Sure, a little bit of work to do here. Daniel, if the ball just fell over there, he would have got a clear run into the jack otherwise. That's done enough a shot anyway. It's going to drift under here. That's probably Pete's worst end actually. He's been very consistent. Nice little funnel there for Nugget to draw down to his own bowl. Maybe touch, tickle the jack around the corner. Looks to be on a good, pretty good path. How's the weight? Just a fraction short. It's, uh, he's done very well. He's got first and third. Well, this will look pretty good to Carl's eye on the mat. Funneling in off Daniel's bowl, get down to that bowl of Sean's. He can get a bit of the jack himself. The car's having a look. Looks to be on a pretty good path. You got the, uh, he's got Hilly's bowl and going to fall in. A four shot. Same shot from Tills. He's going to knock the bowl up. Oh, it's fallen against the bias. <laughs> Still think it's one to car though. Carl just being. Hold on the dead draw here now. Get inside Daniels and get back to that Jack. He's under. He's a 
fails and the girls have gotten a bit of a run. So Queensland's been stuck on 15 for a while. 24-15 here for New South Wales. Just got a score through as well, Suchi. Um, the Victorian ladies are 16-11 up after 18 in, so for them the script is on track. On track, yeah. Of course, yeah, it's been an 18-year drought for the girls. Well, not even nearly, well, actually nearly 20 years, 2003. Oh, hang on, it might be 20 years actually. No, 2004 was the last time the girls won it. Yeah. Thanks to... Uh, Aaron Delaport for that update. Let's lay down here. Nice. Tell you what, he's not far away. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, I think it's going to go. He just turned the jack back to Sean Ingham's bowl there. <laughs> yeah, Tells didn't miss the opportunity to let him know that shot. Covering now. Yeah. So, we come and have a look at the head, see what his options are. As it is, only one down. Overly lot there's a great deal on for it. Well, I think he's, he's he's contemplating actually playing a similar bowl to his last. If he, you know, turns turns his bowl, he can actually get that back onto the jack. Either that, or they're looking, you know, to obviously play with a bit more weight. But we've got sh uh, Aaron Sheriff's bowl covering with any jack movement, so even possibly. Not sure whether he can get at it to kill it, can he? I oh. can't see the angle from here. Got Just Nick Cahill's bowl right in the in the line there. I think I heard Carl say, I think he's going to try and draw this on the backhand. Just try and dead draw the jack and... Hard shot with that wind. Yeah, if he, if he dead draws the jack, he can make two or three. That's what I think he's trying to do. Yeah, well, it's on its way. <laughs> Tell you what, he's not a, on a bad track here, Lee. Just off the edge of that. Oh, well, oh, if he was, if he was under it, he wouldn't have been far off. Tell you what, that was a good effort. Bit of practice. <laughs> A little bit of banter between the players. I need to just see what length he wants. I think they're going to go back to the decent ditch. Play with them, are you? You've got to be able to play a dish to dish, don't you? Well, a lot of the. You know, my days leading for guys like Glass, Rex, Steve Anderson, that's what they all wanted, dish to dish. So, sorts a lot of people out. Well, it's quite funny, like Lee, Lee, Lee Schreiner is similar, he's just, that's his go to, isn't it? Ditch to ditch. Yeah, Seems so to be his so go-to link. Yep, so popular at the Eastern States. Oh, and he's dobbed it on with his first good bowl there by Nick.
Yeah, great reply. Great reply. Daniel. Having a good battle, these two. Yeah, they are. Spot there, catching position. Maybe shot from Sean. Dropping in around the back and counting. Nathan Rice playing a bomb on the neighbouring rink. Tail's just going to drop under again, I think. Yep. Spot there yep. from Turles. It's where Omar wanted it. It's covering that, that backhand trail. Yep. And they're leaving the gap there too straight, so no one really want to fill that up. Big dog out, Carl. Oh, he's and got it clean. Peeled it clean. Shawnee Ingham's balls stayed in there. That was a great hit from Carl. Oh, Bakes is driving. There's drives going everywhere. Stretch. Is... Well, we mentioned it might be a bit easier. Really going quick yeah. than the in between stuff. Yeah, close for shot. Not... Omar's call there was close. He wasn't too sure exactly who had it. Enough tells us going to get the bed here from out there, is he? No, I don't think so. Not enough. Wait, was good. Well, so um, Lee's called that they are down. In fact, one. So. New South Wales girls now 32-18 in front. It looks like it's 17-1 to Dawn Heyman over. Sorry, to Natasha 
Natasha Mount Eldick, 17-1 over Chloe Stewart, it looks like from here. I think you're right. It is 17-1 down, yeah. Nine ends played on yeah. that game. So that's the damage. Kelsey Cottrell's also 12 4 in front of uh, Alan Ryan. Oh, I'm uh, on a good line, but just doesn't quite have the run. Draw around those short bowls beforehand. He's played this pretty well. If his weight, it's all down to his weight now. Oh, just sneaking through. Looks like he's got better weight. That's number one. Oh, look at this, Omar. Thank you. Great shot. Great shot. And we'll see the switch as well from Lee. Tell you what, just needs to hang on. Oh, he oh, didn't have the weight. Oh, cracking effort though. Yeah, good ball. I might be sneak in for second, did it? Or yeah, we're gonna break the tape on. Was two. Two. Okay, so it's the creep on the halfway mark. Queensland have just snuck out to a six shot lead, 28 22 in the men. And New South Wales are continuing on in the ladies. They're now 32 18. Virgo. The far ring there, it's part of the jack. Got the great Ben Twist coming over for a couple of games in a few weeks' time. Yeah, he'd be looking forward for that. Is he staying with you? He is. Yes, yes he's going to do a coaching session on the Friday, and then we've got a double header at home round two and three against South Perth. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a good crowd for that, Suchi. Yeah, Forest Field on Sunday, so... Very good for WA Bowls. Anything special planned down the club for... Uh, it'll be a big week, I know that. The game? <laughs> yeah, be a very big week. Yeah, we're going to have a band and food and it's going to be pretty big. Yeah, right, good. Hopefully... Everyone can get down there and have a look. Well, we've got the latest start too on the on the. Yeah, I noticed that. So, you know, um, guys can play their games and then come down and have a look afterwards. Should be good. Yeah, he 
created his weight, but just running the weight. So where's he going to play? What has that been decided yet? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, I can tell you, it's not leading for me. I know that. <laughs> uh, well, we think. Uh, uh, well, our club president Pat Keefe organised it, so I think he's going to have the honours of playing three for him. Right. And, oh, we uh, enjoy that. He'll probably take my rink, and I'll probably go over and play third for Easter for a couple of games. So. Yep. How long is he actually coming over for? He's here for a week. Right. Um, yeah, so he, uh, Thursday the 2nd to the 9th, he's here. Got quite a schedule too, I think he only goes home for about two or three days and he's straight off to the BPL. Yeah. There's a very full schedule. Very grateful to St John's Park, his club, for allowing him to come over. Correction here, you need it from Tails. Just needs to clear that front one. Yeah, he needs to get hillies if he's going to hit one of them. One of the looser ends we've seen yes. so far. Such a We're not seeing the uh, wind die down at all yet, are we? No. Oh. no it's just, there's uh, certainly some power in it today. So, Tails just trying on the forehand, no more giving him a guide. Just try and keep it on the wide side he wants. Don't know if it will though. I'm not sure he's got the run again. No. Yes. Seems to be a popular spot. Plenty of room there for both skips to pull the shot. <laughs> Queensland police just given <laughs> a little bit of a rev up. He went to throw the jacket, he dropped it. <laughs> Alright, so Omar, I don't know if he's quite wide enough either, needs to hang on. Runs through this pack, get it, needs to needs get a on. sneak. Ooh. Lacked a couple of feet of run there. Could have slid off the front of that one on, right onto the jack. Good line here from Leroy. I don't think his weight's too bad either. Just need to get under that foot. Yeah, front he's one, he's done it. Yes, good shot. Omar playing to get under Lee's bowl looking for the jack here. 
white. change your hand well yeah it doesn't look all that easy on the floor in a drawn element so I think you might switch yeah no, that one's not going to get there so we another one to New South Wales the halfway mark. Queensland leading 29-24. Just like to commend all the staff, Bruce Eagles, the president of the club, all the volunteers here at Serrano Bowling Club, they've done a wonderful job. It's been a really big month for these guys. Yeah, they've done a great job, uh, particularly the, the green staff done a great job getting the greens up to yes, where only, they are. It was only a couple of weeks ago that we had that big big rain uh, downfall. Good start here by Hilly. Start from Daniel. Not quite this ditch, but it's probably only a metre and a half short. Maybe two metres. Pretty good reply. Hilly just backs off there as he gets hit by a yeah. 40 knot gust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our umbrella here is just in all sorts, isn't it? <laughs> almost flown away. <laughs> uh, with the way the wind is, I don't know if that'll stop. I don't think it's going to, to tell you the truth. It um, looks it. like it's in the east to stay. Oh, it has, it's hung on. Set here from Cahill. Two good balls in the head. Yeah. Happy with that. Tails just swapping across to his forehand. Good weight again from Tails. Just got kept out there by the wind, but. Wait for the shot. Okay, well, we're going on the pot. We're going on the swinging pot. Even with Daniel's bow all the way back there, we're almost having a look at it. He's close. Oh, oh don't think almost it's going to stay in the guts Gonski. there. Gonski, so back we go. Oop. That was almost very good. Yes, another half ball down, he would sat on top of it. Bit 
of a job the green keepers would have here. Five grass greens and a croquet green. Yeah. Plenty of surrounds. Final game of the side series for 2023 between these two, Queensland and New South Wales. Whenever this match will win it. Nothing in it. Mm. No, we can still have a couple of different results in the girls. It's a three horse race. Yeah, New South Wales still leading the ladies game 35-22. Quite disastrous for the end rink. Good question from Hilly. Yeah, that gap hasn't narrowed any, has it? Still 19-1 now. It's been stuck on one yep. for uh, a number of ends. Pretty well played here by Nick. Going to get right down to the jack here. Yeah, he has. And he's close here, Tails. His weight looks good. Yeah, he's on him all the way, is he? Just needs to hang on a touch. Should do. Yes. Number one. Good shot. He really hasn't had any trouble with that narrow no, hand at all, has he? He's, he's, he's pretty much had it all to himself, too. No, no one's gone there with him. No, that's right. He's found it. Although... I was going to say that did look like on a good line, just a fraction quick from Shawnee Ingham. Too bad again here from Tails. He's going to finish a good home anyway. Good shot. So we'll be very happy with that. New South Wales is throwing the jack again on the far rink. 22-1 it is now. Disaster for he's Queensland. He's pretty close here, Sean Ingham. Get oh, down to close. that bowl. Oh, he's got he's it. Done it. Good bowl. Got a toucher as well. Yeah, you know, I was very happy with that one. Yes. Yeah, the Queensland girls on that far rink are just having a little bit of a yeah, it's, um, bit of a powwow. Just a yeah, well they're going to do some New South Wales girls. So it just looks like yeah, they're having all the run. Carlos running. Yeah, they just need to win the end, don't they? And get the game going their way. Yeah, well, again. The good thing is you know, the aggregates still within reach. They've got a long way to go. So seven-shot lead to the Queensland men. Tails not far away. This one. Yeah, he's done enough. So we can't go again. I think that's a call. Yep, we're going again. Oh, we've got another dead end. Good shot there by Carl Healy. So back we go. So two in a row. Good 
Yeah, they made a couple of good hits so far in the game, Carl. Yeah, well, um, if we didn't quite have the wind, uh, probably would have seen Carlos just trying to draw that off, really, or just full draw it. That's certainly the easiest shot. Yeah, we've seen New South Wales sort of, that's sort of been their game plan, hasn't it? They sort of haven't been fiddling around too much with uh, the... It's just too hard. The two metre, one, two metre shots. Yep. Just been either draw, dead drawing or playing with some good weight, solid weight. Troy Canane and Little Lord Such. Well, your final day here, the Australian Science Championship. We've had the best seat in the house. Wherever you're watching from, you can see the best bowlers in our country. Great start from Daniel. Yeah, another good start. Asking this one to run. You're going to get a slide off Daniel's bowl yeah, here, is it? Oh, not quite. In the area, though. Must be coming off a good line here, Tails. Might just run on a bit. So who's going to get to that jack first, Suchi? Yep. Yes, a front toucher from... Well, I'll make it sound like it's easy, but <laughs> really made things difficult. Uh, so I think he's taken a bit too much off this. He has. Um, Omar just showing there how much room he's got. we got a good foot and a half. This one looks to be on a higher track. How's the weight? I think it's going to be a bit too hot to turn. Yeah, just a fraction over. Oh, wow. <laughs> Virgo, he's done very well there. Oh, he's Looked like he was doing a bit of a yeah. pol polka dance there. <laughs> that was, uh, trying to get out of the way of Jack. That was is pretty good. He's had to jump out Rice. of the way three times there. Yeah. Nathan Rice getting the front of the Jack there. Oh, that was a great shot from Healy. It's the boss. Uh, 
Yeah, so approaching the halfway mark in the aggregate. 32.26 to Queensland, so nothing in it. Tells just needs to drop a couple of feet here and you'll be in for shot. Easier said than done. Yep. Mm, just taking a little bit too much off. So New South Wales currently holding two. Shots now on the girls. Yeah. New South Wales. 42 23. Well, Still is room for Omar to get around that bowl. Yep. Plenty of room. Yep, for sure. Just gonna play with that perfect weight. Not sure he's high enough there, Suchi. No, he's not. Yeah, he didn't quite have the weight either. It's not going to get there. It's got a bit of line, Omar. Wait on it yeah, though. I think he's over. Two more to New South Wales. Yep. It's going to even up the scoreboard. Even all. And only two in the aggregate now. 35 ends gone. See over there on that end, ladies' game. New it's South not Wales getting any better for the right, end rink there. They're right. still on one. Yeah, New mm. South Wales are throwing Jack again. New South Wales have moved on to 23 in that game. 23-1, 22 shot deficit for the Queenslanders. That's good weight, their first bowl. Yeah, he's corrected yep. pretty good there, Daniel. Similar weight to his first, but a bit of line.
room here for Sean. Let's go plays the hell up. Struggling to get to the head game in this direction the last couple of times. Yeah, the wind's really it's picked up again now. It really is gusting quite um, regularly. Jack over the bank. <laughs> New South Wales holding one at the minute. But still plenty of room there. Mm. So Carlos heads back to the mat. Four-hand draw is pretty much all he's got on here. On the one, just trying to add. We say, hang on, wait's okay. Just falling in, I'd say. It's still one only. Okay, I'll pick it up the ball for Charles. Cotswolds really just picked up a six. Yeah, they did. So that's going to help. Everything goes out to 20 to nine. So there's only about a dozen or so shots in that board over there. Yeah, well, they needed they needed a score, didn't they? Because it was sort of getting to that stage where... Yeah, well, yes, yeah, the end, uh, the end needs to find something. Yeah, they certainly do. Scuttery head. Pretty well played by Lee, just needs to run a fraction, get around that front one. Just out. Yeah, I don't think that would have counted. No mucking around by no, Omar. It certainly doesn't. Mm -hmm. Straight onto the mat. Yes, it's a completely different pace between the two. Played this well. Just needs to stop. Just going to run a bit too far, I think. Mm. Falls back. Oh, fall back in. Oh, tells us. Yeah. Tells us put the hand up. He locks it. Oh, Carl's having a real good look. I don't think he's got those fingers working. Not sure.
That's a pretty good shot here. He's close here. That's a cracking shot. Just try and miss the jack if he can. We might fall forward onto it. Oh, great shot. Trainer. Oh, that's a big one. Fell right in behind it too, so. Yeah, and. I must not be able to see that bolt. That's it. The front bowls are hiding the shot, so he'll be forced to play a swinging shot to get at it. I don't think that. I'm not sure if that front combo's on either stretch. I don't know. I, yeah. From our position, it doesn't look like it lines up. Mm. I think he's going to be forced to stay on that forehand side. Yeah, I think you. Nope, he's going. He's going. We're going to need a little oh, bit of luck what's here. Happened? Oh, oh no. and he's got it. Oh no, that's a big result. Oh, two. He's made two out of it. Two. <laughs> oh well, bit of luck. Wow. I suppose in these conditions, you see a lot of interesting results, and that was one of them. But the dust settles, it's through to Queensland. Queensland girls on the firing stretch of the family team talk, so I think they've won the match. They have. It's like they're shortening the mat up a fraction. Uh, <laughs> probably a good idea. The girls there, yeah, do something different. As you say, the the big boards. It's still in the game, there's only 12 shots in it. Still plenty of ends to play over on the girls and the ladies games. Still eight or nine ends on each of the rinks. Well, we've got a ding dong battle here. 34-31 the aggregate for the men. Too much traffic for Sean, so he's going to switch it over. Down the forehand side, away from the club. Direction where the wind's with you. Really blowing these bowls along. Kind of great track too. He really needs his jackets. This will nearly go in as well. I think he might stay up, but to see when it gets in this funny bit down here. It's yeah, all, right. it's all the players have been standing. It's running on. Correction on the weight here by Sean. This will yeah. be number one. Yep, certainly is. Good bowl there. Great correction. Finish on the line as well. Yep.
Good shot here by Tails. Good. Tell you what, he very close here. Oh, what a bowl what a that great is! Shot. Great shot by Tails. I was going to say that front bowl will be tough to beat, but no worries at all. Well, tell has got some chances here. As the uh, Jack goes flying onto the other yeah, green in the uh, second rink there. That's two in a row, I think. I think that happened last time too. Yeah. yeah they are quite low banks here at Sereno, so. Yeah, that was uh, Sean Baker killing that one. Not going to get down, I don't think. It's a good effort. Not a bad Stay spot on. to finish there. We've got two yep. Queensland bowls catching back there. Good chance with his second. Just looking to draw to get on to Tails Bowl or touch the jack himself. Change it up a fraction. He's close, just it's a clear Sean's bowl. Well, not such a bad result. No, it's not going to hurt things too much from their side. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think, yep, yeah, we'll call for my mark. Yep, yeah, more weight from Tails. Yeah. Jack's flying everywhere here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nathan Rice just killed it on the... What's happening here, the front bit. one? Well, he almost turned that over there. In one more roll, that would have been close to getting to the shot. Oh, Queensland on the charge again, and the girls, they've got it back to within 10. Lee Shrane just covering for a covering bowl here now. Get back to those three Queensland bowls at the back of the rink. Oh, it needs to run. It hasn't. Well, there's chances for Omar here. He'll be yep, trying to get here. through those front bowls yep. there. Yep, three cars can get the shot bowl clean. Yeah, fairly solid weight. And having a look. Determined. Got oh, it. Jack straight in the ditch. Well, oh, he's going to lose Sean's oh. bowl, but. Yep, Aaron stays on. So at the moment as we stand, Queensland are holding three, it looks like. A little bit of lucky there, he got one of Sean's bowls on the way through there, otherwise it would have been a... He did. Well, it's still not pretty because this is going to be a hard draw here, Stress. We've talked about how the last two feet here are really difficult to stay on with the wind blowing them. It's going to be a very difficult draw. Uh, he really just need, he looks like, oh, he's actually swapping over to his forehand. Oh, is there a toucher somewhere? Oh, yep, he's going for Tails' bowl on the... Uh, oh, yeah, he's going for that on the wing. Well, it's probably easier to do that, actually, than try and draw. So those two bowls are going to be pretty hard to beat. Well, a couple of big bowls here coming up. Queensland on this ring leading 13-11. Omar to draw to hold four. Just 
to avoid this cow bolt. Not quite. He's on, he's, he's counting. Oh, Trainer, is he going to get this ball again? I think he is. He's yeah, you're right. He's looking for Peter's Taylor bowls hanging out on the wing there. Any contact with it? Oh, I don't think he likes it. Oh, no. Oh. What's going to happen here? Oh, Carl. Is that Carl's oh, ball that's come he, up? He's moved Carl's ball up, but I'm not. He may have cut one out. Oh, he's cut, cut a couple, couple out. out. Yeah. So that was a handy result, too. Yeah, just. Uh, it's like it's two to Queensland. Tell's going to have a look. Yeah, well, it was four, so. Two it is. Well, that was quite a handy result. Yeah, in the scheme of this rink. Yeah. And as we speak there, Suchi, in the ladies game over there, Queensland have tightened up the margin. It's now 38 Queensland to 45 New South Wales. So that's in the balance. Yeah. yeah they've actually caught them quite quickly. It's only about half an hour ago they were born 20 behind. Yeah, Kelsey Cottrell's rinks, the one uh, still 23-9. We've got the far rink now is 32 oh. Queensland to four. Great stuff from Nick Cahill. Sitting right on top of it. Not a toucher though, but. Too far away here, oh, that's a great correction. If you can just flip it over, oh, well, I'll be really happy with that. Just looking to draw on to crack an egg on Nick Hale's bowl there. Just a bit high. Maybe just trying to beat these. Wing bowls. Just going to take off on him a bit. What's going to happen here? Just needs to hold on. Oh, oh. Another, another catching bowl there. Yep, we're almost straight onto it. That's what he wants to tell us to get. That's where the danger is.
Well, certainly not an easy bowl by any stretch, Suchi, to get onto that oh, bowl with, angle the, there. with the weight that we need. Uh, they need. But oh, yeah, it can be chipped out that bowl. But mm. I think they're just looking to draw onto it. The, the jack will go to their three catching bowls. Yeah, that's right. Just drive into it. I think this will stay up too, so another bar behind. Well, we're going to pull a shot if he. Haven't been able to get back there yet. No. Well, we've got one drawn rink and two two blowouts at the moment. Stretch over there, but there's only five the difference. And the girls now. Yeah, only five in it now. On the big board, Queensland down by five, 45 to 40. Okay, so Sheriff, we'll run for cover. Get out of these wing bowls. Struggling to stay on the rink as well. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Uh, it's not an opportunity hit. The train is going a bit bigger, so. I don't mind that. Take a bit of the guesswork out of it. Well, that's a him spell. Don't know if that's going to stay on. No, it didn't. No, it's not. Again. I think he's gone. Yeah, he is. Oh, so That's gone. The chances are still there. Well, there's a huge chance here for Schroener now. He's got everything behind the rink catching. Yeah. Five, that day. five, five seen, goes trying to get over there. So. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy shot. Oh, oh he's got it. It's got to stay in bounds. Oh my goodness. And it has. He's got the sneaky wiki woo and the jack has just stayed in. And how many is this going to be? I think it's got to be at least four, doesn't it? Oh. Nick Kale's touching bowl is in the... Or it wasn't a toucher. It's not a toucher. So it's at least four. So sort of kick four out already. And we're measuring for the fifth. Five. Five. It is. It is. Huge end yeah, well. by the New South Wales boys. That tightens the big board up to 39 Queensland, 37 New South Wales. Yeah, well, they had five goes, didn't they? Stretch trying to get out there. Couldn't, couldn't do it. And uh, new leaders on the rink too. Yeah. So 15 completed ends. And we start stretch, stuck into the, the yeah, business well, end of things. Well, yep, yeah, the last five. So, all to play for. It's going to go right down to the wire. Gee, we've seen that jack on the second rink fly around in, um, yeah. haven't we? Been plenty of wallop. <laughs> Between Sean Baker and um, Aaron Wilson's rink. Well, at the moment, men's and ladies aren't able to pick a winner as yet. 
Not sure how the Victorian girls are going on the far side there. Can't quite see their master board. We get Stretch onto the phone. Yeah, I've, I've asked our Aaron to uh, fill us in. We haven't heard back as yet. Girls, Victorian girls are up 32 19. 32 9, 32 ends played. Going by our uh, life score. 36 28 for the men. Control over ACT 54 15. The girls are having a close one, one behind 26 27. So, all happening here at Sorrento. That's the last day of the championships. The big one for the year. Good shot here. Yeah, good ball there by Sean Ingham. That'll be the shot. That does give Tails a uh, shot though to get to that bowl or get him to the jack himself, but he's touch under. Both in track and weight. Oh, probably the track was all right. It was just a, a weight more than anything. For the shot he was playing. Must be pretty good again here. Just running on a touch, but it's going to be a pretty good bowl. No, played it very well. Yeah, good bowl, Sean. Yeah, two good ones. To the crew here as well, Stretch done a wonderful job and we've got sandbags and bricks and just about everything they can get their hands on to try and hold everything together. Looks like uh, Carl's looking uh, down the forehand side there. Right, look for the gap. Yep. No. No, looks like he's just gonna go. No, it looks like he's gonna stick to that backhand. Say stretch, it's uh, it's not a five until you defend it. Queensland boys, pretty good here by Tails. Yeah, he's not far off. He's gonna add another one, I think. Yes, he has. Well, no, so plenty of things to run into here. The Carl. Get running on to Nick's. Cleared it out of the way though. Well, looks like New South Wales have hit the front now. 41 39. For the 
the first time. So, Trainer with his first bowl hit. He's going to play forehand at it. He's got a clear run to the jack now after that front bowl being removed. So he's going very quick. Miss Thunder. So, Queensland. No, no, I was just looking at a draw on that high side there. Count. Well, it should start getting down soon. Just be a little bit too, too big. Mm -hmm. Fraction overweight. Good shot though. Got one of them. Oh, just flicked the front bowl, but. Couple of little glides there, showing that have paid off. So, no, Mark. We need to yard off. Yep. He's changing hands. Yeah. Not a bad option. New South Wales bowls are. Both behind the jack. A uh, little touch here. Yeah, and he's got a chance to touch the jack. He can make a few. This needs to run. Oh, I'm going to. That. Yeah, he won't be happy with that one. Still, I might have two here. Yeah, it is two. So the lead changes again on this ring. He's then regain the lead. 16 completed ends. In for a ding dong finish here. Yep, and the um, New South Wales ladies have taken it out back out to a nine shot lead. 49 40 after 42 ends. Start. Yeah, well, Hilly's played out there all day, so there's not much point in changing now. So, not too far away. No, he's going to sneak under it. Good ball. Yeah, it wasn't worried about that front ball at all. Played like it wasn't there. Pretty good area as well. This one from Nick. Yeah, he's played this very well. Ball back the other he's way. Yeah. Against the bias. Boot. That's all Hilly has to do. He gets under. Well, he's got a sneak. Oh. He's got a double sneak. <laughs> double sneak. And he's done it. Yeah. <laughs> Double sneak wiki woo. <laughs> For a toucher. Yeah. Well, Sean's looking to do a similar thing. Get back to that jack. Or the ball. Well, he's got one sneak. <laughs> uh, one sneak only. It's raining wicks. <laughs>
What about effort here? Oh, it gets under there. He's good. Oh. Yep. Well, it's a good shot. Very happy. This sort of changes things up a bit too, doesn't it? Yeah, well. Oh, yep, okay. So we heard that from Omar. Oh, it's another Bakes drive. Gonna be under here. Just clip one out. Played this well. we'll clear the front. We'll get under one of the two. Oh, neither. Just running into Sean's oh, it's bowl. Up, it's blocked the jack a bit though too. Stretch. So I don't think they can go to the pot now. They might have yeah, to go back to no, the draw. Back on yep. the draw, yep. So plenty of bowls still to come. Got four days of the National Championships coming up. Starting at Joodle up tomorrow for the next four days. Yeah, we're uh, going to have beautiful weather again for the rest of the week. Yes. So hopefully these winds die down no. a bit. <laughs> well, I don't think it joined off it will. Yeah, Tell has struggled on the draw going this way today. It's finding it difficult to judge his weight. With the wind. Well, the far rink, we see Sam Narona rolling the jack again, so it's out to 28 to 3 on that rink. Yeah, 10 shots in it now. New South Wales ladies in front. So at the moment, Victoria could be looking to break a, a drought here. Carlos just run up to the back there. Is it going to stay on? Oh, yeah, it has. Yeah, it's has. Let's tell us looking this time. Oh, he just he probably to get onto Sean's or bowl underneath and he's. Oh, second shot. Yeah, back to one. Uh, one was good for Carl with his first. Adjustment with weight. I think he still might have a little bit on this. There's still plenty of room there for Omar. To I mean, Sean Ingham's bowl only needs one turn to count. Yes. Oh, I'm a absolute monster. 12, 18 months for him. Under normal circumstances, you'd, you'd back him to draw this quite easily, but certainly a very difficult task today. Yeah, well he's just trying to work in off Nick's wing bowl there. Just, uh, hasn't quite got that weight. Still a pretty good effort. Final bowl for Omar. Doesn't need to 
a lot different. Well, he wasn't far, far away with the first one. He's just caught the wrong side of Nick's bowl there. Can use either of those two. Or Sean's roll it up. Oh, he's going to need a bit of a sneak. Mm -hmm. Not quite. One shot to New South Wales at the moment. as well. Yep. So. So we're locked up, we've been locked up a few times. So 17 all on 17 and the master ball is locked up too. Girls, the 21 in front. Well, looks like they're doing their bit. Yep. So Victoria, Victoria win. They're definitely guaranteed a medal. So just what colour? I believe even ACT girls were actually a chance of if results went their way, they could have got the silver. Very good bowls. A couple of feet behind, very usable. Father of three, Hilly. You cheering him on from home. What's his home club? Uh, Charles Downing, his bowls manager there. Yeah. Uh, one the big, probably the biggest club there in Newcastle. So uh, it's looking like stretch that we're going to be the first ones off. Yeah, well this this rinks three three ends ahead yeah. of the other two. So it's uh, yeah. Well, we've seen a few dead ends played on both the other two men's rinks. So it's looking like our stream will unfortunately will end before the decision is, but so all the life scores are available on the link. Maybe able to turn that 45 camera across to the uh, second ring. here for Carl. He's just really looking to get down to that jack and any touch of it is a bonus. 
bring in Peter Taylor's and uh, even Hilly's bowl there. Well, they're interested. He's they're interested, but I think it's just going to turn a bit too much. Tails is pretty close here. Yes, Needs to run a fraction. Is it gonna needs to fall off something? He's, and he's done he's it. He's in there for two. Yeah, for two. So Lee's called Carl here to play weight through the middle there to get the edge of Wayne Turley's bowl. He's clipped off the front one. Give him a bit of look. Tells has got the weight with this one. Where's it going to finish though? Is it yeah, gonna he might, I was going to say, he might get across but not quite. There's still going to be room there for Lee. Yeah. If he wants to follow up with the same shot as Carl just played. Yeah, well he's having a look here. Yeah, you see he's got a, a few different options there, so it just depends. He's got to negotiate that front bowl, but if it gets a full enough, it might do some damage still. So. Yeah, I think he will play that one because... Where Tills' bowl's just finished is probably in his eye on the on the draw. Right so on the backhand. So I think we'll see a similar shot. There goes just trailed the jack in the ditch over there in the rink next door. Off we go. He's close. Oh well. He's still two down after all yeah, of that. After all that, yeah, that's exactly what he was going for, but they both went with it. Wow, we. Okay, if we just got to, he's just got to get down. He's going to have to go back to the draw here now, isn't he? He was really unlucky with his first bowl, but... Just need to throw it out. And you see the, luck, the grass he's taken. Oh, his track's good. It's all going to be down to his weight now. I'll tell you what, he's not far off. He's played it. Cracker. Trying to drop Trainer. inside. Yes. Second shot, I think. Great effort. Still one to Queensland. Well, he's played two great bowls there, train up. Gee, he was unlucky not to fall back back in there.
Righto, so Omar's looking to get to Schroner's bowl. He's close not to. far away. He's close to. He's done it, I That's think. Yeah, I think he's done enough. See what it is. So, Queensland take a one shot lead 45 44. So, we've got three ends to play on this rink. We've got still six ends to play after this one on the far rink. And I can't quite see the board. So yeah, it's going to come down to the wire, Suchi. That's for sure. Yes. Something there over the ladies. The New South Wales ladies are leading 53-46, and uh, 48 ends have been played over there. Victorian ladies are lead, now leading 47-26 after 40, 46 ends. So, looking good for them at the moment, Sachi. Yes. A good start. Okay, Hill. It's the 19th end. Two leads on this um, rink have really had a really good battle today. Both playing pretty good. Sure have. And Nick's not too happy with that one by his, look at his body language. Just not sure. Why it's actually <laughs> finished okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. So there Hilly seems to go a bit wider. Yeah, one of the South Australian Tasmania rinks have already finished, they're coming off. Bowl here by Sean Ingham. On the shot. Yep. Kelsey's gone out further, so she's up 29-10. Pretty good reply here from Tails. Yep. She's got the jack. Great shot there. Yep, very good bowl. Six a difference in the girls. There's still game on over there. <laughs> Tal's just looking to play with the yard, get onto his bowl.
Okay. Let's see what's got here. Look at this, here it comes now. Look at this, Wayne Turley. Great shot. Wow, wee, what a plum that was. Made three. through this. This yeah. one's an absolute whopper. I'm just looking to turn his own bowl. I don't think this one's too bad either. Well, if he just sneaks around it, and he has, Wayne Turley. Look at this. Great shot. The fine wine. No yeah, mucking this. around. No. Carl winding up. We're going the wallop again. He's closer. He's got something. Oh, he's killed yeah, he's it. Killed it. Yep. Out she goes. Well, if we get a couple more kills on this. Rink. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we'll all finish together. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, the, the furthest rink away. Turning like on end like, fifteen. Yeah, unfortunately, we're just a bit too far away to swing to them. So. so we start the nine eighth end again. So, uh, Bakes is leading Aaron Wilson 17-15 after 17 ends. And Ben Twist is leading Nathan Rice 14-9 after 15 ends. And one in it. 40-46 New South Wales, 45 Queensland. There's the two powerhouse states battling it out. And the men's and the women. Yeah, only, only six in the ladies, New South Wales 53, Queensland 47, so they're still in touch. Anything can happen there. On. <coughs> Played this well, Hilly. Oh, it's just going to need to hold on. Weight was pretty good. Think winds are uh, <laughs> trying to take him off, but oh, might have just run a bit too far. Up in the air for grabs here. 
Tails. It's going to be the best. Oh, I might have just went too far. Pretty close. He needs to run into something, he has. Yep, he's running into the jack, so. Good ball. Yep, he's fallen behind too, so almost a back toucher. Too far away here, Tails. Oh, what an oh, effort. That's a good ball. Just rocked the ball. In the other game going across on the other green there, Suchi, we've got the uh, WA men leading 65 28 over the ACT and the good women. For their campaign. The women are leading 53 42. Uh, on the other green, we've got the South Australians, 73 to NT 38. And then the women, 54 to South Australians, leading 29. And the Tasvik game, and the Victorian men are leading there, 47-35. And the women, of course... Victorian women leading 47-26. Yeah, so yeah, the Victorian girls are doing everything they can to the screamer. I haven't heard a uh, humdinger <laughs> from you today, Sachi. No. Uh, I don't think he's quite got the weight here. There'll be no worries for Cal to do this again, no worries. Tell you what, he's not far away <laughs> he's again. He's given it a good show. Oh, there's two rivers. He's what done a ball. It, He's done it. Wow. He has. Call him two. Gee, two cracking this. balls there by Carl Healy. Wow, that's What's he done? I don't know if it's changed anything. Go, the pitch is back. Okay, so what do you think? Stretch what runs through the front one of Hilly's there? It's a well, I think I think that's really his only option, isn't it? If he just misses it, he might get his own. Very difficult shot on that narrow side with the wind howling. Yeah, so back end it is. That's what he's doing. He's just playing two or three metres over, looking to get onto that bowl of his. He's going to hold it out. Yep. So two shots as we live for New South Wales. Not sure whether Lee's going to be looking to... No, he's happy with that. He's happy with the two. So we're locked up again. 19 all. On 19, we're just up and back to go. Here we go, New South Wales now, a couple of multiples, so 50 to 47 in front they lead. Yep, and uh, every time the Queensland ladies seem to get within striking distance, New South Wales have snuck back out to that 12 shot 12 lead, 59-47, yes. they're on 52 ends in that um, match. Van Eldick doing all the damage. 
69 4 she leads. So just the two ins to go. Up and back for our last three match. So uh, Twisty's leading 14 11. After 16 ends, over Nathan Rice. Uh, middle rink. Can you see their stretch? Or can't, uh, yeah, it's locked up at 17 all after 18 ends. Yep, so we've got two drawn rinks. And Twisty four in front. Can't quite tell who's holding shot there on Ben Twist's game. With Skips playing their last uh, couple of bowls each. Yeah, good shot, shot again there by Huey. Yeah, played, played very well. Certainly has. Yes, only made his debut this year against Queensland. This one just needs to get down. Going to finish in a good spot though. Yeah, pretty good bowl there by Nick Kale. Well, the thing is getting to that time there that you don't really want your short bowls, do you, Stretch? It's, uh, it's it. You're only going to make it harder for your skiffers and those in front of you, so at least making sure their bowls are up. Guarantees next doors just played a good shot, a bit unlucky. They were two down, he's managed to cut one out. Back to this rink, Tails. Seems to hang on. enough to count. It's to be on a good line here, Sean. But I might just still have a little bit of beef on it. Yeah, just a little, little bit, not much. A metre or so. So second last end, as Carl comes back to the mat, holding the couple, so... Got a good track. His weight's not bad either. Just needs to keep running. Drop under. Yep, done enough. There's plenty of gaps there at the moment, so it tells they haven't really got a close one. A little bit of work here. Second last end. You get a great view there to see how wide they've got to go out there. Comes now, it's all on his weight. Just running through as well. Good shot here by Carl, his weight. Just need yeah. to sneak under Sean's bowl, you're going to get there. Should do. Here he has. He's in. Three. So four shots at the moment. Four, is it? I think it's very close to four. Yeah. Well, 
Charles. I think he's on a better line here. I think his weight's going to be okay. It's just got to hang on. It's going to fall out, but... It might be second shot. I think so. Well, Omar's happy. Very happy with that. Yep, got second shot with that. New South Wales are holding three on Aaron Wilson's game against Bakes. And from this angle, it only looks like they've got one in the head, the Queensland boys, so... Bakes will be looking to get another one close, I think. Well, he's close to drawing another one here. Just needs to flop off the bowl, and then he has. Oh. Enough run here, Roma. I don't think he has, is he? Not quite. It's a great effort, but just need another foot. He's coming down to have a look. having a look at the options here what happens if Omar runs at it yeah well I think they've got everything at the back just about I think I think that's Hilly's bowl the furthest one um, just oh yeah just behind, in front of behind Nick's bowl there yeah. yep so they do have the backest if the jack happens to go to the left hand side yeah, of the where rink the, where the New South Wales guys are standing, standing then uh, they could it's potentially be three or four down. Yeah, so I think that's what we might see here. So backhand. Well, smart, smart, smart move from from Carl there. Just, just. well, not sure you're going to get there. Well, he's not going to get the cover with that. Is there a run to cut there, Jack? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if there is. Well, I suppose yeah, he could I get it. I suppose he could. I mean, yeah, slice. I mean, any t any type of Jack contact, at, at the very least, they're probably going to go one down with the Jacks right yeah. through. So it's probably worth having a look at it. Yeah, Tails is, I think Tails is calling him to play that type of shot to... Maybe look for a slice of that jack across. Oh no. Good solid weight to the jack. What's gonna happen here? Gonna need just lucky. Gonna the front. Oh. He's turned Turl's bowl up onto the jack. Yep. So it's one shot. To Queensland. Yeah. Well, there was plenty of things happening there. So 2019 now, as we start at the last end. And 51.50 is the big board. Yeah, that was a good Van Halen album, that one. 51.50. Oh. The girls. New South Wales are 11 in front. I think there's only about. Eight ends to go, I think. It's 55 ends, so. Big girls, 13. So, final end as we come back to the club.
unfortunately uh, the furthest rink which will be last off is just a bit too far out of view for us to try and cover it so the scores will be available on the Bowls Australia website and plenty of live streaming to come with the Australian Championship starting from June up from tomorrow for the next four days. Thanks off Clive, we'll be back in the hot seat. Played this well again, Nick. You can get right down to it. Finish. We're finished by him. Yeah, great ball. Lots Hill he got in reply for his last ball yeah, of the his day. Last ball. Potentially. Yeah, he's done very well. Can be very pleased how he's played. Yep. Got a good line. Tell you what, he's not far away. Well, that's a great finish he's from both gonna, of them. Gonna draw the shot here. If it falls over. Oh, God, it wants to. I didn't need to, but <laughs> no, it's on a bit of an angle, but tell you what, a gust of wind and that one might still be falling over. This well, Sean oh, look at this. Oh, oh. Hilly's ball's just fallen in, but is that going to make any difference? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Great shot. Nugget says thank you. Oh, I just thought with that ball falling over, it might have been a bit interesting. Absolute honker there from Nugget. Staying on the draw. Early days. Get something oh, else around well, there. It's just become a draw off at the moment. Last end. Bit high here with the first one tails. Stays on yeah, right behind him. Just wants to stay on now. Settle down a bit. Let's get a go, I think it has. Okay, so yeah, forget about the jack now. Um, was a danger. Danger spot a few wins ago, uh, stretch. Uh, no one could seem to get out there. They're not taking the risk. Well, great finish from Sean Ingham. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good out there. Well, there she's playing a bomb. The far rink. Yeah, Nathan Rice has just drawn her back. Resting toucher by the looks of it. Mm. Tails is close here. He's on a mile away. Good correction. Yeah, handy there, can be used. I, mean, I think Tails will just be looking to get a little bit deeper than Sean Ingham's bowl there. Another metre or so. Queensland just got a three over there in the girls, so it's got it back to eight. Yeah, he's played that well, Tails. Finished, finished a lovely spot. Finished in an A1 position. Unbelievable scores in the girls' ring. Yeah, eight in it. Yeah, 33 13 on one rink and 31 4 in the other one. Massive scores. Mm. Oh, Carl's going big. He's got the number one out. One wood. Yeah. He's going with the monster. He's... Oh, geez, he's given that a monster smack. And that's dead. Oh, that's killed. Give that a damn good clout. And back we come. It was very close to... Staying in and him sitting on the jack there, just got a feather on the way through to kill, but I'll take it. So, final end will be replayed. Oh, 
51 apiece here. As we get down to the final handful of ends here for the big one. Sean Baker's drawn to the lip of the ditch here. Wow, what a shot. That's a huge shot there. Yeah, wow. And the ripper. Certainly are turning it on these last few ends. Yeah. Really tricky conditions, but seen some great bowls played. Got it. Disco's got it clean. Well, on that rig next door, Aaron Wilson's just put Bakes' pole in the ditch. They're holding one with Bakes having one to go to put it back. What he's tried pretty hard too. Well, Disco's already clapping it, so. And he's done it. Well, we. Oh no, it's got the wobbles. Oh, oh you're joking. That's teetered on the edge. And just fallen in. So, New South Wales will pick up one on that rink to take the score to 19 17. They've got uh, one end to play, I'm guessing, and they'll turn that board over. Back here on this ring, Hilly's oh, great correction finished. from Hilly. Beautiful shot there by Hilly. Yeah, onto the jack. Again. Good finish for the second time. What can Nugget do here? Just run through. A handy start. Tails looks Tails. to be on a fairly good track here. Yep. Well, I think the weight's not too bad either. Just need to run a fraction. Good enough for two. Well, the girls making a late charge again, Queensland. Five behind with five to go. Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, Sean Ingham. It's on the high side there. Still, it's behind the head. Still be usable there. Too bad there, it's matching up those back Queensland bowls. So the last end, also the last end for the Wilson Baker game. 14 all on the twist rink. And they've got three ends to go on the 19th end. Hills is looking for the jack here. Yep. He's under. He's tight. Yeah, they really haven't seen too much success with that swinging swing. type shop on, on uh, the um, tight side today. Well, that's very, very difficult. Just very hard to pick the right track.
Good ball there by good ball there oh, by okay, Carl. Cool. Right, we're gonna, so we're going to see what we can try and do. We're going to try and cover these last two rigs. We're going to see if we can get a camera angle out there. Okay, so Carl, here we go. He's got the foot out, just showing him where he wants it. Absolutely unbelievable. It's all happening here at Serrano. Played this well. Oh, Carlos, look at this. Here comes the world champ. Absolute. So I wonder if Omar is going to go first. How many down are they here? Stretches. Looks high from our angle. Yep. A few down here, are they? Three down, I think. Is it three? One and be four. It could be four. So, Herman's going to have a big one with his last. Plenty of holes here as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, Queensland do have the back of the rink. I, mean, I think. I think Lee will be staying well away from that. Well, yeah, he's going to the back. He's looking for the back bowl. Case Omar looks for the jack with his last in the world. Just didn't get the trip. So here we go. Omar, final delivery. What's he going to do? He's going to try and draw it. Is he playing weight? Mm, it's a bit undecided at, at the moment. Okay, ready to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Trying to draw it, isn't he? Drawing. Yep, it's a draw shot. So, Sheriff, what can you do? It's his last bowl. The guys are interested, they're looking. It's under. He's not going to hang on. Oh, wow. Wow, that's... Potentially four with the bowl to come. It was us just last for Queensland. And then there's a oh, free kick here. Yep. For New South Wales who are already one in front on the egg. No, no real danger taking the high line on the forehand there. They're liking it. Yep, he's going to draw another one here. Five, Five. It's a handful in the last end. Wow. Oh, what a count. So, New South Wales will go to a five-shot lead on the master board as well, 57-52. With uh, three to go. Okay, so bear with us. We're going to try and do it the best we can. Get the best cover we can to move over. Well, what a finish to that game, Lee. Yeah, it certainly was. And that was really the difference, wasn't it? There was two counts of five, wasn't there, for yeah. the New South Wales boys? That's right. Um, I think we'll go to the last rink. The last rink's got two ends to go, so let's try and get the rink th three. Just bear with us at home. We'll, we'll call it from where we can see at the moment. Well 
So on that Aaron Wilson and Bakes's rink there, it looks like that Jack High Bowl maybe of Corey Wedlock's the green and white striped bowl may be shot. Although it's close by the looks of it. The bowl behind it, the white bowl is a Queensland bowl. So they're just having a good look to see. We're just going to try and get the twisty string here on three. So we're going to get the twisty string because he's got the last two ends. So we've got a pretty good shot there. So we'll, uh, we'll get to see the bowls coming, coming down anyway. So. So on Ben Twist's rink, we've got Barry Lester playing his first bowl, and well, he's played it pretty well. Done enough for shot, I'd say. Oh, just run through. Okay, so the Wilson Baker rink—they're coming down to the skippers, so they're just about finished. And then we'll get the last two ends of Twisties. Uh, the girls, the girls are 63, it's a New South Wales, 56. There's Bakes lets one fly. Oh, he's now, he's, Bakes lets one fly, he's taken his own bowl out. So, we'll find out what's happened there. We're about to shake hands. Could actually be two now on that rink. Measuring, looks like they're measuring for the second one. Back to the one Larry Lester's about to play his second bowl. So it's only one. Only one. So New South Wales will win that rink 20 to 17. Yep, so Barry's trying to draw, draw in. Oh, he just, just gets a graze of the jack. Tickled the jack. As we mentioned earlier, Barry. Just uh, releasing that he's retired from international duties. For the, a wonderful two decade career. Okay, so two wins to go, six to diff. Razors. Razors drawn it. Drawn the shot there. Australian indoor singles champion. Draws the shot. Okay, so Brett Wilkie. See how it bowls Queensland. Just trying to draw the shot here. It's just going to run away. Well, Queensland stretch. They're going to have to win. Have to win both ends if they're going to want to take this out. You'd think so. Yep, they're going to need a. Yeah, the six shot deficit yeah. at the moment. I think really a couple here. And Queens, uh, New South Wales are holding shot at the moment. Fergo's just having a look. happening with the girls. The girls are 63-58 in New South Wales, so five to different three ends to go there. And there was a score of five over there. The Queenslanders. Is that Chloe's ring? They got a five on the last end, was it? I think so, yes. Okay, so Fergo's switched over to his the backhand the back side. Hand. Pretty reasonable effort. Just urging it to run. No, that won't bother the scorers, that one. So, where's with his last bowl? 
far off with his first. Having a look at it, they're interested. Got a little rub. Not really getting any indication from no. the players really on. No, it looks Fergo's like it's obviously close. There you go, still on the fingers. There you go, one ball to play. He was on a good line with his first, so we just need to meet her away. Coach out at Johns Park Bowling Club. Looks to have pretty good weight. Oh, Twisty's interested. Clears the front there. I reckon he's close. Ooh. Oh, he was on a cracking line. I'm not think sure he's done it. enough. Run, swing and a miss. Right, so Mason Rice looks like he's just trying to dead draw it. He's got a bit of jack, oh, he, he has. Oh, and it's locked in. <laughs> Made two, I think. Two, two shots to Queensland. Oh, well, it's a big one. Well, I think both both those bowls are glued onto the jack. So, and I think those short bowls there, we can't really tell from our angle, but it looks like they're covering the the bowls. So. Good look here at the options. Doesn't look very easy at all from from where we're sitting. And they, uh, looks to me like they're looking to play a weight to spring the jack a couple of metres out to the left hand side. But well, Queensland picked up a couple on the middle ring there. They picked up a three, so. They're three behind with two to go, but Lind Lindsay's running, so I'm not sure how many down she is. All happening here at Sereno, what a finish. Coming down to the war, there's one end to play on uh, the last remaining ladies' rink after this one. So, could come down to the very last end on yep. the ladies as well. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, holy heck. Well, Twisty, it looks like he's trying to draw this. Tell you what. Oh, oh. missed that front one. He looked like he was fairly close. Wow, well, tough to all this. Still, he has turned that bowl of fair goes out of the way now, so he will give him a chance with his second. Well, WA. Tell me why I've snuck in the bronze medal, although I don't think there is a bronze, but I've snuck in third anyway. All right. Nathan Rice, he's stalking it. Well... We'll just see what the measure is. They're measuring the girls I think too. He's, so Nathan Ross is actually looks to me like he's given the shot away now. They were holding two. Oh my goodness. 
The Jacks sprung to the back New South Wales bowl in there holding one. Ben won't be playing that last bolt. Wow. Well, that in, makes things interesting. So... My goodness, what happened there? And uh, it was three more to the New South Wales girls as well, so they've got six in front playing the last. One. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Disaster there. You're playing the last end, but New South Wales actually hold a seven shot advantage yep. now going into the last. So and seven fingers on the trophy, I think, as well. Yep. Yeah, and the, on the ladies, they're uh, down to the is that the last end they're yep. playing now? Yeah, last, last end, end well, and, and New South Wales are holding a six shot advantage there. So I think the Victorians ladies will be pleased with that. Yes, they will be. Well, we've had four wonderful days here at Sereno. We see the final end. Scotty De Jong. One of the eight they need. Mason Lewis. Which wants to stay on? Yeah, I don't know if it will. Oh, it's gone. There by Scotty. Well, the Victorian girls are only nine ahead with four ends to go, so still not all over. have we got left on the green there? Is yeah, it I just one still going or is yeah, it two? Looks, yeah, it's a bit hard to see there. It's all over it looks like. I think the game's all over. Oh, it's done is it? Okay. Yeah, I just don't think that score's updated so... so it should be shortly. It'll be interesting to know what that final score is. Oh, Barry, he's losing his bowl so... From here, just been told it looks like Victoria 59 to 44, maybe. Has the final score in that? Yeah, well, the call is to kill it now. Baz lost his first bowl, so it's going to be a pretty tough ass, too, because that bowl's right in front of the jack. This any bigger than New South Wales boys. And Queensland have to kill the end. There we go. 
Home backhand. Not sure how close he's going to try and get. I think he's going to lose this. I think it's gone. A little bit of. Just trying to get to the back, but I think it's going to be a bit too heavy. Uh, Wizza, I don't think they can kill. I think he knows to try and peel this bowl off first. Oh, it's gone straight in the ditch, so. Not so much good, gonna, Tom. No, they're going to shake hands, I Is think. That? I think that'll be it. Well, it's going to be all over for the men's now. The Jackson in the ditch, so. Uh, that'll be a win for New South Wales. still going here but so can you see the girl stretch I don't know if there's a chance for the uh, yeah I'm not actually sure what the state of play is no. with the ladies yeah so we might try and get that there. we might try and get the four up there if we can no uh, they're playing their last end the yep. ladies so we'll go the ladies yep this is their final end So the men are going to take home the trophy. The side series, the Queensland girls are running. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> she's got the jack right in the ditch, so. Uh, that'll be it. It's, uh, so it's looking like it's uh, New South Wales and Victoria for 2023. I don't think. Uh, no, we're not getting much information over there. We I don't think there's gonna be a seven on for Queensland out of that. But there's only four bowls to go anyway, so we'll just stick with it. So big thank you to Sorenso Bowling Club for being the host. Had a very big month. It's all the volunteers and the staff, green staff, and Bowls Australia for all the work. As we head to Joondal up uh, for the national championships, which starts from tomorrow. Joondal up, city of Joondal up, also the proud sponsor, looking after the event. So we'll just see the, fur, the final couple of bowls down. Twisty's just drawn in the ditch, just to... And uh, Tourism Australia, also our sponsors as well. So, so the men shaking hands, it's all over. So New South Wales take the men's. And I think we're going to see a decent drought here, broken by the girls of Victoria. Yep. Um, they came over for a test a month ago and wasn't all that flash and they've reassessed and turned it around. So last bowl coming up here for Dawn Heyman. Like there's a seven on here stretch, so I was just trying to draw to the ditch, but she's gonna run in. So it's gonna be a I'm having a look, I don't know if there's a miracle on here stretch. I don't know the bowl's well enough over no, there, I'm so I'm not, not sure myself of who's well, who's or they what. I think they're will they're they're having a talk though, so maybe maybe there's a six on somewhere. Yeah. Oh, they're having a real good discussion, so they're having a look at I think they're praying for a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> I 
much is getting said, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, I think she comes back to the match. She's smiling, so it might just be a bit of a throw and hope. This is it. This is the last bowl of the side series for 2023. It's Lindsay Clark. It's going to be a, a hoping wallop. And it's going to be a miss. So, so we have new champions in both the men's and the ladies. New South Wales taking out the men's and Victoria for the first time in almost 20 years taking out the girls. So congratulations and well done to everyone. Stretch. Thank you, mate. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow. And, uh, yep, plenty of coverage coming up from Joodle Up starting tomorrow. Until then, this has been Leader Lord Such for Bowls Australia. And thank you. We'll see you next time.